Mr. Kushagra Dutt, hearty congratulations on securing All India Rank 3 in Mechanical Engineering Branch in GATE 2023 examination. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Dutt, you please uh, introduce yourself briefly. Sir, as you just mentioned, my name is Kushagra Dutt and uh, I did my uh, B.Tech plus M.Tech dual degree from Indian Institute of Technology, Roper. Uh, after which I pursued my dream of getting into a public sector uh, via the medium of gate examination and I was able to secure the third rank and um, basically my hobbies are uh, playing sports and exploring various fitness related activities like martial arts and gym uh, and everything. Good. When did you pass out the dual degree? Uh, sir, in uh, 2022, last year. Mm -hmm. I think you might have made this preparation for the gate exam simultaneously while doing this what you call dual degree right yes sir yes sir so how could you adjust these two timetables preparation of the gate exam again uh carrying out that uh, university part of the syllabus and the part work and all uh sir actually this was my technically my third attempt but i basically think it was like my first attempt only because uh, for the last uh, two attempts, I was doing it simultaneously with my college. So I was not able to prepare wholeheartedly. I was not able to give my 100%. So basically, sub in subsequent years, I was able to complete some portion of the syllabus and all. So for this year, I was already done with 50% of the syllabus. And uh, after my college, uh, after my graduation, basically, I focused wholly solely on exam and completed the rest of the syllabus and with the help of test series and all just focused on that. During my uh, university days, I uh, used to keep it, like I used to plan at least three, four hours uh, of studies for my gate specifically, along with my college work. Okay. Uh, you please tell us uh, what type of coaching program you have availed from our AS Engineering Academy? Uh, sir, I opted for the online test series okay. for gate 2023. Okay. So many people say that this test series plays a crucial role uh, mm -hmm. in the preparation for this comp examination, particularly yes. GATE and the ESC like this. Yes, sir. So, so how this ES Academy test series played a role in our success? Sir, I also feel the same only uh, that it it has the test series plays the most important role because it uh, gives you after all the theory that you have read, you still don't get confidence that you will be able to solve numerical. But solving so many numericals and learning from your mistakes is the best part of the preparation. Uh, Ace Academy specifically, I found the questions were very uh, comparative to the e actual examination level. So uh, they were not, the level the uh, level of questions were not very different. So it gave me a very good idea of how the gate examination would be like. And it also helps help me build an exam temperament because sometimes it used to be uh, like, should I guess a question if I'm not getting, but if I have scored well. So it, it gave me a very good idea of how to develop my temperament. And I kept the same temperament in uh, the real exam as well. Yes. So, yes. Particularly the accuracy of solving the numericals and then the time yes, management yes, you can develop with the test series. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kushagra, that, uh, how you used to carry out this uh, revision work for this gate examination? Revision work. Revision work. So, uh, sir, so for the last two months, I I planned to give a test every day. Though, uh, what I read was it is advised to give test uh, like uh, once in two days or something like that. But I felt that that was giving me a lot of confidence solving questions. So, for the last two months, I planned out a test to give a period a test for every day. Uh, apart from that, uh, I used to cover up. I used to uh, highlight the notes, my notes of my study material. I highlighted all of it so that subsequent re revisions could be faster. Uh, further, I also prepared a short notes for entire subjects, which I used to, uh, while before sleeping one or two hours, I used to just cover up three or four uh, courses. So just like that, uh, that just kept going and on and on again and again. And I kept on layering my uh, revisions. Uh, till the point where I had good confidence that I at least remember all the formulas correctly and they are uh, well memorized. Okay. In your short notes, uh, what points are you used to maintain there? Sir, it was, I made a completely uh, complete notebook, which was only formulas because uh, gate is highly numerical as we know. So I just kept it formula based. I did not add any theory. And uh, in cases like where there are some conditions attached to it, 
like in what cases this formula is valid or in especially in the cases that this is not valid i just used to mention a very small point like that basically it was just a formula booklet i kept no theory at all so that just gave me a good confidence like at the end of the day i can just read it and just memorize all the formulas again and again so the formulas were well revised for the theories i had the notes highlighted okay uh, one more of that uh... on an average how many hours you used to spend dedicatedly for this gate preparation uh, sir after okay. my graduation it it actually varied for the first few months it used to be uh, to be honest it used to be around 6 7 hours for the first few months but uh, later after november or december it was more than 10 hours a day because i guess that just uh, happens happened naturally i didn't put any effort but as the exam was nearing so it was a natural pressure that i felt and i used to give 10 hours uh, a day after november okay uh, one more uh, mr dat uh, did you refer to any standard test books for the gate exam no, is it sir. necessary first of all no sir i i did not refer so i don't think so i can comment if it's necessary but i got a good rank so i i don't think so it's necessary uh, yeah many students are sharing the same feeling right so this uh, already rank 3 in the mechanical uh, yes. how many marks you got in this sir, i got 80 86 marks 86 marks yes sir. what is the score now for this third rank uh, gate score sir s yes, score, score it is 1000 only 1000 yes sir okay right so first ranker second ranker third ranker all the three might have got 1000 score only right yes sir okay a uh, good uh, mr dat uh before the gate exam in the last one week of time yes sir did you follow any specific strategy in the last one week time uh sir actually what i felt was i was uh, giving up tests daily so it did kind of was creating a fatigue so i did want to slow down at last not uh, i didn't want to uh, you know give exams just one day before the gate exam so i kind of slowed down and i just focused on revising short notes and uh, what i used to do was during the test series whatever question i did not i was uh, basically i didn't get it correct so i used to take a screenshot of that question and i used to maintain a notebook in which i used to write down the solution because the solutions are given in the test series which are very helpful as well so for the last 10 days i just reviewed the questions and just checked my mistakes uh, that is all and just worked on the things that i already had covered i didn't do anything new or anything just carried with the same momentum and also relaxed a bit so i can be calm in the exam yeah it's not advisable to prepare anything new in the last one week of time right yes sir so you should did the same thing and one more uh, mr dat uh, because you were third rank i think you might have prepared the entire syllabus of mechanical engineering yes sir but suppose there is a fresher let us say fresher yes fresher sir. maybe college goer otherwise something else fresher yes, is there yes sir who wants to prepare uh, selectively some subjects some topics for the gate exam because of some reasons maybe lack of time something in hmm. such case uh, what do you suggest that student if he wants to prepare selectively uh, i think first of all uh, he can go for uh, mathematics and uh, generally the aptitude portion is quite easy this time it was a bit trickier what i felt than last time the aptitude portion so um, he i don't think so there is some special attention that is needed for aptitude though if uh, he needs it so he can just practice uh, at the end of his day 30 40 minutes for general aptitude he should start with mathematics and then in the core courses i would uh, say production is very important production has a huge weightage and it's also quite easy it's very simple formula based and um, then uh, mathematics production and uh, strength of materials that can co cover up okay later on if time permits remaining syllabus like yes, uh, obviously mechanics right yes, design part uh, yes sir a uh, theory of machines and all the rest of the syllabus is it yes, yes sir so okay so which order is generally advisable which order we have so many subjects of technical there yes sir what is your advice in this order of preparation of the subjects uh, sir i guess uh, whatever order the institute from which you are learning is following that is a perfect order you should not uh, you should not, i i feel what i feel is you should just listen to your teachers because it has been curated in such a way that's what i did and it worked for me right that, that's what i want and moreover that order uh, sometimes maybe shouldn't specific also yes and sir one knows the very well that if at all you have some basics subject that you have to learn first yes sir like engineering mechanics first yes sir strength of materials next 
then machine design like the step by step right orientation yes, okay good uh, mr krishagrad that you see a successful story so from this successful story yes sir sessions what tips that you want to share to the other students who want to prepare for this uh, mechanical gate examination uh, so the first and the most important tip uh, as i said last year also i appeared for gate and i had a rank of 3500 around something like that so uh, while i was dedicating an year to this so i was in the start i was filled with self doubt because generally what happens is everyone feels how can we get in under 100 because uh, it's like a perception that under 100 is like something special or under 200 is like uh, something special so i would just advise not to uh, get not to doubt oneself and just get started with the preparation it's not at all as hard it, as it seems once uh, i got in in the flow just a month i just uh, it was difficult for me to adjust to that after that the process became a comfort zone and it was just very easy it just used to be like i i got up i was enjoying what i was doing and uh, it got really easy so i honestly don't feel that there is a lot of effort that is required anyone can do is anyone who has focus and determination and uh, another advice would be to listen to the teachers and mentors very seriously and uh, because it everything has been curated in such a way that it makes the preparation process of preparation very easy and um, also as everyone advises do focus on test series uh, because what happened with me i was i was um, always waiting for the perfect time that i will complete my entire course and then start with the uh, test series but that time never comes as as you will go on revising your courses you will forget some of the earlier courses just like the some formulas you're going to forget so just get started with test series as soon as possible get into habit of solving numerical problems and that is all sir right good suggestions uh, that right so thank you for sparing your time i once again so much, congratulate you on securing this sign rank 3 thank you sir and uh, i wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors god bless you mr dad thank you sir yeah. thank you very much yeah please convey your wishes to your parents also yes sir definitely will yeah. God bless you, Dad. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.